Good evening, everyone. My name is Brad Walter, and tonight I'm going to be uh, discussing a trip from Cheyenne, Wyoming, KCYS, to Rapid City, South Dakota. Uh, in today's scenario, I'm a commercial rated pilot with approximately 380 hours. Uh, so I have a decent amount of uh, experience flying commercially. And um, it looks like for the scenario, the biggest, uh, biggest factor today is going to be the environment. Uh, as far as me, the pilot, I have plenty of uh, plenty of experience to complete this flight uh, safely, and I'm used to the aircraft it's aircraft that I use uh, for most of my training, um, and it's a Cessna 172 with a G1000, so should be should be just fine aircraft to do the flight VFR as it states. Um, in the scenario, it's stating that uh, one of the hazards are potential thunderstorms in the area of Rapid City, South Dakota. Uh, looking at the TAF, it looks like those thunderstorms should be gone well before our arrival time. It's saying that we're departing around 8.30 p.m. local time from, <clears throat> from KCYS, and it says the thunderstorm should be, should be gone by then. It should be, just be showers in the vicinity. But we'll go with um, planning on there possibly still being some thunderstorms in the area. I think uh, probably one of the best mitigation mitigation things we could put in place to uh, help with that is having some some type of uh, onboard uh, weather advisory as we're flying along. So my my uh, the thing that I like to use the best is a Sentry with uh, the iPad that'll give me the weather displayed right to my iPad and uh, that's that's a great way to see potential thunderstorms up ahead of you. Uh, another another tool that we could use to mitigate those thunderstorms is calling a flight service station, finding out uh, what they look like right before we take off and then uh, along the way getting uh, updates from um, airport flight service stations uh, via the radios during our route of flight. <clears throat> so Looking at the uh, route of flight, I think another good thing to do would be to try to stay kind of low in our altitude. We're transiting from an area where the um, the field elevation is about 6,100 feet at KCYS, and then we're going to be descending down to the next field, and the field elevation will be about 3,200 feet. So our uh, MSL field elevation is going to descend quite a bit. But I think if during the route of flight we can stay a little bit lower, still a safe altitude, obviously, um, but a little bit lower, and then we could follow the highway, maybe uh, Interstate 85 that runs part of the way through, um, to be able to have a good visual reference to the ground at all times. That way, um, we don't inadvertently fly into clouds. Cause that that's definitely a big hazard if you're flying VFR and you're not planning on planning on flying flying IFR and you haven't filed an IFR flight plan. You want to make sure you keep your head out of the clouds. So uh, maintaining that good visual reference with the ground is a great idea. So that coupled with making sure we have uh, good updated weather along our route and um, some kind of weather weather uh, depiction in the aircraft as we're flying along to keep us clear of any potential uh, thunderstorms and uh, heavy, heavy precipitation along the route. Um, so taking those uh, taking those risks into consideration and having uh, a tool put in place to help mitigate them, I think uh, we could still potentially complete this flight safely. Um, the big external pressure involved with uh, this flight is that you and your best friend have never been to uh, Rapid City, South Dakota, and you want to see Mount Rushmore, which sightseeing is a good reason. Uh, or is a okay reason to uh, want to press to go somewhere, but it's definitely not worth taking a huge unnecessary risk. And I think that due to the fact that most of the thunderstorms should be gone and it's still showing plenty of visibility along the route of flight for the TAF line, um, I think uh, we'll just be just fine for this route of flight. Uh, the other thing that I have um, alluded to but didn't directly bring up was the fact that you're going to be flying at night so that's why i mentioned flying a little bit lower to have a good visual reference to the highway and any uh, city lights along the route of flight 
because uh, at nighttime it is a lot more difficult to tell when you're going to be flying into those uh, clouds if there are, are any down at your level. Um, so I believe uh, we've covered just about everything there is to cover. If anyone has any uh, tips or something that they uh, noticed that could have made this more hazardous and a reason that they think that we should not complete the flight, I'd love to hear it. And um, obviously the safest course of action if there's any kind of weather is always to not go, but that's not always an option, right? So we have to make sure we put risk mitigation factors in place to uh, help take care of that stuff. I uh, hope you all enjoyed the video and looking forward to hearing your feedback. Thanks.